Big Boys Big Neighborhood, boy. ladies and gentlemen, our friend of the neighborhood yeah, is back. Buddy. That is Demetrius Johnson, Mighty Mouse. Good Welcome God. back to the neighborhood, my brother. <laughs> Put that belt down, Louie. You didn't earn that. Come on, Louie. Yeah. your belt. Hey, man, it is a Hell lot no. to earn that belt. Everybody want to hold the belt. Hell yeah. Everybody want to take a picture with the belt. But we, we don't want to be through a fraction of what it takes to get that belt. DJ, now the fight is going down this weekend. UFC 227, wow. 227, it is going down. And where's your mindset at when you go into something like this that you've been in before? It's definitely not like, oh, I'm used to it, but you don't back up. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, obviously going into this fight again, it's a rematch, and I've been here mm -hmm. for multiple years. Mm -hmm. You go in there like it's just another fight. You know, right. you go in there focus, laser focus, and I tell my body every single time, give me 25 minutes of un- just, just focus. Nothing's yeah. going to come in our mind. We're going to get in there, get the job done. Then we do whatever we want after that. So. Your conditioning has to be amazing, though, because there is not a lot that people can do for 25 minutes, bro. And that's 25 minutes of someone that's trained just like you, that's coming in to get mm -hmm. something from you and avenge a an L already. Like, And you say you just tell your body 25 minutes. That's all I want. Give me 25 Damn. minutes. 25 minutes, and we're just going to sit here, we're going to focus, and we're going to take this man out. You know, mm. obviously, the training leading up to this yeah. fight, you know, it's day and out grinding, five days a week, uh, two times a day, depending on the day, and, you know. It's, and it's Mighty Mouse, you're kind of just asking your body for, j this will be the last 25 minutes, because how long is camp? <laughs> oh, man, camp is about, uh, this one is about probably 12, we start, uh, 12 weeks, we started training Three for this months. one. Uh, in May, because we thought we were gonna fight in July, and then it got post, and then it got not pushed, but I got mm -hmm. I landed on this card in August, so I was like, I right, want to keep Might it as going. Well stay locked in, just, huh? Yep, stay locked in, and we are now. So, what do you do for training, not physical wise? Are, are you one of the guys that move away from the family? No, you don't. Oh, okay, no, no, no. I, I'm not a big fan of moving away from the family because this is my life. It's a lifestyle, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So if if my lifestyle was to pack up and leave my family, go somewhere else and train, then. I'm not, you know, doing my duties as a husband mm -hmm. or, or a father. father. So yeah. um, for me, I like to stay home with my children and my wife and get it done. And, and it's worked for me my whole entire yeah. career. Yeah, it has worked, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be the one time, DJ, that you'd be like, man, I'm just going to try this day. And then that'd be the one time like, oh, my God, and he's down. Yeah. Like, do, do what you do. What are the mistakes, uh, DJ, when, when it goes into training? For example, just, just so many fighters that eventually pull out of fights because they get injured or something. Or just the Max Holloway situation where I think it was his training and uh, how it was the weight cutting and stuff like that that got him a pull out of the last UFC. Like, what do some uh, fighters do wrong? If that. I, I think the biggest thing, when you bring up the Max Holloway situation, that's yeah. something we don't even know what the full diagnosis gotcha. is, right? So mm -hmm. we can't really, you know, elaborate on that. But, like, for most fighters, when you're training – you know, I train with, I believe, the best training partners in the world. I mean, we have guys who work full time. We have guys who are aspiring to be professional mm -hmm. social artists. Um, and I have Matt Hume. I have Brad Curtin. So I got a great group of guys around me. And we know what the focus is. We know what the goal is. My, my teammate, he's out here with me. He always tells me, he goes, let's go, baby. One team, one goal. One dream. That. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, I like <laughs> it. Getting <laughs> butterflies there, brother. Hey, man, we should Pump take that up. too, Louis. One yeah, team, got one goal. Hey, whoa, whoa, it's one dream. Right. It's all right, patent it. You know, don't it's even it, try I, to do I, it. I, I don't patent it. Yeah. Right, I, don't so. I don't really think it's <laughs> yeah, patented. It, 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 it sounded like when he said it to you, you were shocked as we are too. You know what I'm saying? We could turn those shirts around in like 20 minutes. Yeah, man. We get right down here to the alley downtown. Or my home cat. I can go to Bow Down and get these printed for us. Demetrius, now. With you already kind of getting past, you know, do you, do you go in? Is there a confidence knowing that that you already beat someone, or is it even more so? I gotta make sure that I'm over protected or not overtrained, but but there, he's coming for me this time. Well, obviously he was coming for me the first time. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And, uh -huh. and and when you when I typically do these rematches, I have a sense of feel of what they bring and their strength and their the distance and all that stuff, but. The biggest thing is that I've heard him before. Like mm -hmm. I, I legitimately heard him. He's told me we talked, you know, after the fight. He goes, "Dude, I was so ready. Like I thought I was gonna get you. Damn. But then you hurt me, and then I couldn't do anything. Now I was like, okay, wow. well, I know I can hurt you. If I hurt you before, even when I train, if I've hurt somebody before when I'm training you know. with them, I know I can hurt you again. It's a mental thing, right? Like I've been hurt in my fights, and people don't even know. Right. Like, like, is it wise that Henry told you that hey, you, you did hurt me? No, I mean, at the end of the day, we're all. That's true. Well, yeah, because yeah, I would be like, hey, man, I was over there and, <laughs> and, no. and say, Hudo told me this. <laughs> <laughs> like, so Hudo said what? Well, you, we're all 
human beings, right? Yeah. We're going to talk about what happened and all that stuff. And so I think for us, you know, I've been to multiple of his fights when he's fought Sergio Pettis and uh, when he fought Wilson Hayes mm-hmm. and when he fought George Benavides. Um, we're, it's a very small community. So right, when we talk yeah. to each other, I mean, you're on the road with your opponents all the time. So, you know, you got to find something to talk about. Um, but I'm, I'm excited for it. You know, he's been training. Uh, he's mm-hmm. on a two-fight win streak, so we're going to see what happens. Do you think that it, it will be the full 25 minutes? Of course, you're ready for that. Mm. Or do you do you make predictions? Like, Don't make predictions. I heard I that. Stopped, I stopped making predictions. I never made a prediction. Uh, it, even when I was an amateur, people mm-hmm. were like, man, what you going to do to this boy? Right. I was like, I'm going to go out there and fight because you never know. I'm going to go out there and hit him, break my hand. Next thing you know, I got 24 minutes to fight with yeah. a broken hand. So. And, and you before. would fight that 24 minutes? God damn right. I got to oh, get that paycheck. I mean, I know. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, man. And, and, like, uh, yeah. and that hey. is really the the hurt business. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we say, oh, man, we work hard for the money. Blood, sweat, and tears. Mm-hmm. Like, no, we don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. you are blood, sweat, and tears you guys work for hard. the money. No, yeah, we you, do. You guys work hard. Yeah, but it's uh, not like I turn my mic on and somebody kick me in the face. <laughs> yeah, no, that's pretty true. Much. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like you're defending yourself the whole yeah, time. Like, yeah, the Imagine. whole time. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm in a ratings war. Yeah. I'm not in an octagon. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah, so, it, you know, I, I appreciate you looking yeah. at that, you know, that's and true, I do Doug. tell my kids how hard daddy worked, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's different. Kinda, yeah, it's, it's different. It's quite. Mm-hmm. I feel you. Different. I understand. Yeah, but but thank you so much though. You of know course, what I'm saying? Thank course. you for not downplaying. Uh, what you how, do? How, yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> like, look at me over here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're working so hard. I'm at work right now. Just, I am at work. You know, I, I am wearing a sweatsuit. I got my feet up so they don't swell. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm relaxing. But I will go. see you at uh, UFC 227 mm-hmm. this weekend. Thank no, you, will I? I mean, I'm going to see you because I don't have tickets. I, that's well, my... I, you got to talk to somebody else. I'm sure there's tickets available <laughs> wow. right now. You go purchase them at uh, Ticketmaster.com. Oh, Just type in UFC wow. 227. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Mike I'm Mel. telling you, man, if you weren't a trained, skilled <laughs> fighter, and you can hurt everybody in this room. Yeah. Like, say for you was one of like these little rappers from SoundCloud that yeah. came in here right now. Oh, <laughs> oh man. man. Yeah. Oh, Demetrius, we'll be all over you. Let, let me ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. Go so, ahead now. So, SoundCloud rapper. Yes. You know, you got Fat Boy Slim. You, mm-hmm. That's what Takashi69 came from. How are these guys making money? Like, I don't understand. Like Hand over fist. <laughs> man, for one, when, when they go directly... To their audience. So they go directly to the consumer. Directly to the consumer, bro, mm-hmm. where, you Selling. know, they, they get on SoundCloud. They know how to monetize. They they stay on the road. And they have a cult following. There are rappers that come in here that you'd probably be like, man, who are they? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But but you know what it is, man? They go straight to the their audience. Gotcha. And they kill. You know what I'm saying? It, it It's amazing. I was curious. I'd be like, man, these SoundCloud, these SoundCloud rappers, you know, big fat boy slim out there. Man, I got my... I had never heard it. But, I saw one of these music videos. I was like, this is probably the most low budget and, music video I've ever seen. Yeah. And it don't have to yeah. be high budget. Exactly. That's you know what I'm saying? Money they're and not and I'm talking about, money. man, the little Zans of the world. Uh, like, everybody. Everybody. And they said that even the Lil's, there are over 8,000 Lil somethings that's wow. on SoundCloud. Yeah. That's eight, just 8,000 Lil's. Wow. And people find them. Wow. People find him. Best believe it. I'm getting my son tatted up today there on his face. Oh, stop <laughs> yeah, it. yeah. He, he's 11, so he's those, about to get in the game. Tats about to learn. Yeah, man. It's, it's coming together. Do you have any tats on you? Oh, just, just this one. I got one here. Got one on my back. Got one right here. That's mm-hmm. about it. All righty. But you want to do anything facial? Hell no. Oh, yeah, right. Like, uh, what, what, I, I, I have nothing against Puzzle Malone, but I saw Puzzle Malone says, Always tired. Always tired. The first thing I said is like, take your ass to sleep. That's what we were saying, man. Like, dude, <laughs> first thing I take a nap. And now, and now yeah, he just got something new right here. It, looks it almost weird. looked like vines or oh, something. Yeah. That is. Like, yeah, man. It's so stupid. Yeah. Just be nice. <laughs> hey, be God nice. Bless God bless God him. God bless him. Makes God beautiful bless music. Him. And, and his stupid tattoos. Stop it. All right. Be nice. Fine. Okay. All righty. Be, be nice. nice. Why don't you start fighting in the UFC? I can call Dave. I should have. You can show me some tricks and moves. I see what now? I want him to show me some tricks and some moves. I could really That's beat people up. That's a married man with kids. Me, no, all right, me, like me and Vic can talk about that, DJ. <laughs> me and Vic can do yeah, yeah, yeah. What can you learn from him that you can't learn from us? You know what I mean? You're not going to use really it right fight. anyway. <laughs> now, Demetrius, how old are your kids? Uh, five and three. Five and three. Will you will you put your kids in martial arts? Uh, you know, I might put them in if they're interested. My right, youngest right. one, Maverick, he's all about that life. You know it, huh? He's about that life. Really? Right. Would you put him in for self defense or self defense? Yeah, self, yeah. Self defense, um, confidence boosters. Yes, like boosters, confident boost. Right. And, and I think it's always good to uh, know how to defend yourself. I mean, yeah, that's what man. got me into it. Was just I saw it and I was like, oh, I want to know how to. How fight. old were you when you first got in, Demetrius? Eight, eighteen. Eight, eighteen. Eighteen. Yep. 
Really? Yep. So Damn. was there anyone in your in your family that, that was into martial arts? Nope. I had friends. Uh, I had a friend that was like a second degree black belt. He did it. I watched him do it a couple times, but, you know, I didn't have, you know, the financial situation yeah. to do it. Um, so when I got older, you know, I saw it on the TV. I was like, oh, I'm gonna give it a try. So, so what just, discipline did you go? Did you go wrestling first, or did you go re- wrestling first? Because obviously it was free through you know high school, middle school. <laughs> right. so I did wrestling. Yeah, yeah. So so you did wrestling in high school. Yeah. Right. So if you want to count, you know, my wrestling as you know martial arts training, then I'll say 16. Okay. Um. And then after that's when I started how to throw when I hit 18, joining mixed martial arts gym, how to throw punches, kicks, knees, elbows, the whole nine yards. Those years back, that, like we already saw that th- there was UFC and there was some, something to be made in MMA. Yep. But as a career, jumping in that early, you, you probably wasn't thinking like career. No. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. career wasn't um, viable. Yeah, You know what man. I mean? Like when it first started out, there was no 125-pound weight class. Right. Shoot, I think the lowest weight class was about 155. And then the UFC actually cut the 155 division. And just did 170 over to heavyweight. And then now you have guys, you have women's division. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. for me, when I got into it, there was nothing for me to do. I didn't know about Japan's, you know, martial arts. Right. Scenery. So for me, that's why I think which made me such a great fighter because I was doing it to learn, not to try to make a paycheck. Right. And I spent so many years just learning how to do it. Now that I'm, you know, on my career, I'm like, I did you to- fall in love with it? Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Fell in love with it. You know, it's. It's nothing like after I got out of high school, you can't do, join a wrestling team. Right, right, there is right, no right. Wrestling team, unless you go to the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. Not, it's not like a softball league. Like, hey, you're not wrestling yeah. league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know. What's going on? Sorry, I'm late, you guys. Yeah, exa- yeah. exactly. <laughs> Overtime. But, but this was a league or something that you can do where it's like, oh, we can spar, we can wrestle, we can grapple. So I just fell in love with it. What about uh, Cody Garbrandt? Now, but, would you would you do a so called super fight if? If he came down or if you mm-hmm. put it on a little bit, I know that they kind of kicked that around. Yeah, obviously, you know, a uh, big fan of uh, Cody No Love. <clears throat> I think he's a great fighter. The same thing with T. Dillshaw. But those guys, you know, I think a super fight, it might, it, it could happen if their conversation's right. Mm-hmm, right? Yeah. You know, when everybody's talking about a super fight, you know, you had Deontay Wilder about to take on Anthony Joshua. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, they're yeah, going to yeah. unify yeah. the heavyweight championship belts and they're going to make a massive payday. So if that's in the same wheelhouse for us, I'm pretty sure it will happen. I heard that, man. I would love to be there, but of course you never have tickets, so thank you <laughs> yeah. so much. You yeah, know you know, saying? you can get those at Ticketmaster.com. Uh, ticketmaster. <laughs> ticketmaster. Hey, man, you to send us to and you a code piece, you knew all the dot coms yeah. and everything, yeah. man. He was ready for that. You knew exactly where to see. That I, mean, people like, yeah, get your tickets. People ask you for tickets a lot, huh? Yeah, I stream for a living, so. Well, uh, not yeah. for a living, but I do some streaming and podcast stuff, so. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, because yeah, you, you definitely made that happen, man. I was like, damn. Let me ask you about Conor McGregor. What's your relationship with with Conor? We don't Passing. Have, I mean, I don't know. What do you consider a relationship? Like, like, do, do, do <laughs> y'all get it together? Do no, we? No, you, no, I, I don't think you question things. Yeah, he yeah, like, like, wait a minute. He like, what are you, you ain't twisting me up. I do this yeah. too. <laughs> um, yeah, just do, do, not training, but how cordial are you guys? I think we're okay with each other. I mean, we see each other, we say maybe hi and what's up and mm-hmm. keep him moving. That's he doesn't try it. to throw things at yeah. you. Yeah, you do not. you think? He, oh hell! <laughs> oh. Do you think that he got a slap in the wrist for throwing that dolly through that bus window? If I was to give my honest opinion about the whole thing, I said it was probably one of the greatest investments he's ever done in his life. Yeah, really? yeah, especially with the slap on the wrist. It's like yes, because when you look at okay, when you look at anything, right? If you look at anything like an investment, so this is how we know if it's investment. Well, I believe it's investment, but let's say he fights Habib Nurmagomedov next, yeah. right? Oh, now, yeah. Let's say the UFC takes that footage. The TMZ footage of him taking the dolly and throwing it through the bus to try to get to him, right? So the UFC would use that footage and blast it all over social media channels, mm-hmm. all over the internet, all over, you know, television. Like, buy this pay-per-view. This man yeah. is trying to kill this man. Like, this is it now. This is it. This is it. Not We're going to lock them in the octagon. We're locked lock them in the octagon. Cage. Make sure you tune in. UFC 2-2, whatever, 231, yeah. right? That's an investment he's made. So the investment... We're, so is we're, UFC 231? I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. With. I was but, like, man, because you but, had me. I was like, man. <laughs> but the people were like, okay, so where's the investment? Like, where is he investing? He invested his time. He invested potentially him going getting, like, charges. Yeah. And He, he got to turn this into something he, He's got to turn it into something. So, and I think he has. So when he did it, and I sat back and I watched it, I was like, Probably one of the yeah. best investments wow. ever made. Now you pick up a dollar and you throw a big ring. Like, man, remember when DJ when he got arrested? Yeah, pretty remember when he got locked up? Like, when he got like how much time he, he got gets? fired? Yeah, he yeah, now. Like, yeah. Dana let him go. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. right, right. like, good. So, so you think that this? And, and and now that you explained it, it seemed like it could turn into that whatever down the road that next great 
Conor McGregor fight because we we saw what he did with uh, with Mayweather. Yeah, you know he not to talk yeah. himself into those things. Yeah, it was. I mean, like I said, I think it's gonna be the next big fight in a lightweight division. You know, Habib Nurmagomedov now he's a uh, lightweight champion and Conor's coming in as a, the number one contender. So uh, it's gonna be a great fight. I'm looking. I, I'm gonna watch it. So mm-hmm. I, I'm gonna try to be there. DJ, you are probably one of the biggest UFC gamers out there right now, oh, man. Yeah. How is like gaming taking over the world right now? Well, obviously, like, you see it. A lot of people don't, but yeah, I yeah. see it too. <laughs> Well, gaming. Let's let's start with one thing. Gaming is, it's it's national, right? Yeah. Everybody plays games. You got mm-hmm. people in Korea who are getting StarCraft two uh, sponsorships or, mm-hmm. or wow. yeah, sponsor uh, not sponsorship uh, scholarships. Excuse mm-hmm. me, scholarships. Uh, you got people uh, esports teams, Optic Gaming, uh, Phase, Team Envy. You got people competing in Dota two for twenty five million uh, <sighs> prize pools. So. When they had, I think it was, uh, I think it was Dota Two. When they had that going on, mm-hmm. the, uh, the championship, the world championship, it had way more viewership than the Olympics. Damn, than the wow. Olympics. And it's 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 something that people can all you know we, we it's everybody's passionate about it, right? Mm-hmm. Like and, all of us can play video games, right? But yeah. you guys can't go out to the gym and work out right. And, right. and fight and all that stuff. So. Mm. I think it's very easy for people to get into. It's crazy when you see like some of the the playoff, the championship, and you see like, oh, there it was twenty five thousand people there. Mm-hmm. Like, wh- what's your, what's your game of choice? What are you gaming on right now? Um, what I'm gaming on, I game on uh, my Origin PC laptop and mm-hmm. Origin PC towers. But the game of choice will be right now World of Warcraft. You know, I play Fortnite, right? PUBG, Battleground, Player Unknown. Um, uh, and you play with with the public as well? Yeah, I play with my fans. Okay, yeah, I play with my fans. And that's at Mighty Mouse UFC one twenty five. Uh, that's uh, that's your yeah, Mighty Mouse UFC one twenty five at Twitch at twitch.tv, Yeah, damn. <clears throat> so, but at the same time, you look at it right. Mm-hmm. So, if you can show, you go to a whole bunch of brands and and big giant sponsorships, and you're like, hey, I have this game that people are going to be tuning into twenty five million viewership. Would you like to you know throw some ad revenue dollars? Mm-hmm. And you might get you can sponsor the whole entire thing for X amount of money, right? So that's how. That's how people make money. Have you learned how to mo- have you monetized yours yet? Yes, I've, oh. I've, I've learned how to monetize it, but I want to be. I'm you yeah. know right now it's not paying all my bills, right. but it's helping. It's it's fantastic. He says it's not paying what all a, my bills. What about the player? Is like it paying me? your cell phone bill? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I need to get in. There. <laughs> cell, cell phone bill. Cell phone bill is covered by Metro PCS, okay. which oh, oh. provides you know ninety nine percent of the coverage <laughs> in <you> <laughs> America. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, cool living games. You have to sit quiet because yeah, I got yeah. my deal. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. All righty, go ahead, Lou. What about a player like Ninja? How how is he whoa, monetizing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, man, watch the in- oh, you said Ninja. 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 Oh, okay. Ninja. Sorry about that. Now, they know black man making five hundred thousand dollars on Twitch. We know that. Right. Right. That's how much he's making. Yeah, yeah. So he's making five hundred thousand dollars a month. A Twitch. month? How? Yeah. How? How much? I need to so you have already, man. So you have you know Twitch Prime, right? So if anybody out there has got Amazon Prime, you can go and link your Twitch account with your Amazon account. If you have Amazon Prime and you get one free subscription to any subscriber, any uh, uh, content creator on Twitch. Now, when you subscribe to the channel, it doesn't cost you anything. Do you have Amazon Prime? Yeah, I do. Okay, if you go to Amazon Prime, what you need to do when you get off, when I get off this interview, Uh you go to Amazon Prime, you make a fake Twitch account or a Twitch account, you link those two (laughs) together, you come to my channel, you subscribe to the channel, and it's free. It doesn't cost you a dime. Oh, dope. And then I benefit from that, right? So he... You know, has been doing very well about you know getting Drake, getting a little Yachi, getting right. all these you know big name celebrities to you know play with him, play with him, and create some content. Mm-hmm. And then he'll be like, "Yo, if you got Twitch Prime, you know, subscribe to the channel for free. You know, support your favorite streamer." And then he's got sponsorships on top of that because when he streams, he's got like ninety three thousand people watching him, right? So if I can tell a company, if I tell Uber Eats, or if I tell, if I tell you guys. Big boy, hey, mm-hmm. you know I, I'm gonna plug, I'm gonna plug your uh, radio show. I got about twenty five thousand people watching me concurrent, not just one time spike mm-hmm. the whole entire time. Uh, you can pay <sighs> me, you know, a premium of you know a thousand dollars a month, and I'll, you know, and that would be plug. on the low end for someone, huh? Five hundred thousand oh, yeah. a month. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, we call I call him the king dingling of uh, Twitch right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then then it, then it kind of trickles down. That you have guys like Doctor Disrespect, and you have guys like Lyric. Who are probably making about you know probably forty eight thousand to sixty five thousand a month. I mean, Jesus. the game it's all about viewership, right? It's all about yeah. viewership and sponsorship, and that's what people want to do now. Is that uh, a company wants to put their name behind somebody who has, you know, you pay you know a half million dollars to have you know a twenty second spot on TV. Yeah, you know, man. Right. You don't know how many people are going to get to the, go to the bathroom. You don't know how many people are actually going right. to tune into it, right? Mm-hmm. It's only for 20 seconds. And but, some of this stuff isn't even direct to that consumer, consumer in your audience. So it's this like, is going direct. Like, uh, biggest thing is Uber Eats, right? If I'm playing video game and I'm sitting at a 
computer all day Jesus, playing video yes. games, oh right? Oh my gosh, a given. How am I going to eat? That's a given. Who's going to give me food? That is who's a given. Gonna, who's going to make me food? That's the, one of the biggest sponsors. Uber Eats will bring you some food. Mm. So Uber Eats just signed a deal with Ninja. Wow. Because he streams for eight hours a day and he's like, I don't know what I'm going to do to eat. Um, I just got my <laughs> wow. I, I just got my buddy hooked up with uh, metabolic meals mm. because he's like, dude, like I stream for like eight hours a day and oh I God. don't have the time to get up to eat. I'm like, you better get your, you better get your butt up and eat. You better you cook something. Know. And I was like, dude, okay, why don't you try metabolic meals and they'll bring you the meals to you, healthy meals so that way you can have a, at least a good diet when you're streaming. You, you set up a sponsorship like that and boom, he plugs it out to like you know eighteen thousand people. He goes, I know you guys are all gamers out there. I know your your diets, you know, you're, you're eating pizza pockets and hot pockets. You're going to die of, you know, high cholesterol. Try Uber Eats. It oh will bring you food. God. I mean, that's, wow. how, that's how you do it. Oh. Oh, I know. Have, have you had anybody talk? depressing, man. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. Have you had you. anybody talk trash to you or like say something that oh, offended you? So here's something funny. You guys will love this, okay? So somebody came into China and goes, yep, yep, definitely IQ. His IQ is definitely four. <laughs> Number four. And I was like, uh-huh. I was like, I was like. And they know it's you though, right? They know it's me. Oh, they know who Lord they talk. They know it's talking. I was like, damn, is it really four? I was like, <laughs> we're gonna find out, damn it. We're gonna mm-hmm. we're gonna find out right now. So I took an IQ test on, on the internet so everybody can see, right? And I'm gonna and they see all the questions. I took it, <laughs> I took it, I passed, I passed. Uh my IQ is right with the average of a 31-year-old male. So it's wow. like by like 125, 130. So I was probably I felt good about my Yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> yeah, like, I'm showed a, him. Yeah. I'm out of four. Yeah. yeah. I, I saw him on outside, I was like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, af- I'm afraid to take one myself. We always kick it around, but I'm like, nah, yeah, I can't do, do it. You know, because yeah. I'm really good at time. talking mess. You know what I'm saying? And making <laughs> other people like, oh, Louis. And then I come in and be like, yeah, well, big. You know, you got your your name right, and, uh, <laughs> and damn right, I got my name right. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, like, nah, that's, that's bold. It. Yeah. Did you, were you now? Did you have your results before? Or are you ticket no, live? It, live. Wow. Oh, live. Yeah, live yeah. on the Twitch channel. I was like, we're gonna do it right now, guys. Yeah. We're all gonna do it. But see, that's the competitive thing in you. You know what I'm no, saying? No, it's, it's, I would nah yeah. because I'm gonna get mine first. Then if it's good, I'm gonna post. No, because <laughs> I, I think at the end of the day, it's just showing how I like to be a real person. Be mm-hmm. straight up about it, right? Like if my IQ is a four, it's a four. Then I need to get smarter, right? So I was mm-hmm. like, we're gonna take it on live on stream. You guys are gonna watch me. You guys need the questions. You guys do the questions too. But right, I, and I sat there and I was literally sit there and I'll literally talk, let my brain process because as fighters. The public sees us, you know, punch drunk, oh, we get concussions, CTE. I mean, we do get that, but you got to keep your mind sharp. Mm-hmm. That's a thing as an athlete, as a professional athlete and a business, you know, entrepreneur, mm-hmm. I got to keep my, my, my mind sharp. And so when I took that IQ test, I was like, okay, I'm going to take it. I mean, make sure my mind's staying fresh, staying, keeping that dementia, uh-huh. that, uh, mm-hmm. all that, you know. Do you, are way. you concerned <laughs> with, with any injuries? Is that, or... I mean, I'm I'm concerned about it, right. but at the same time, I'm always doing things to keep my mind sharp. Always learning new things. Always mm. forcing my brain mm. to work. Have my- you had like a <clears throat> concussion? Nah, not at all. Nah, each time I've been hurt or like, oh, oh, hey, right. Music video. I know where the punch came from. Never have any lingering, you know, dark, cloudy and right. headaches and anything like that. It's just, you know. Okay. Big boys big neighborhood. Boy. Mighty Mouse, definitely want to thank you for coming yeah. into the neighborhood and hanging out with us once again, man. Don't forget, this Saturday it is going down. Henry Sehulo taking on Demetrius Johnson, Mighty Mouse. I definitely want to thank you for coming in. I will be at that fight somehow. Oh, okay. Some way. You, you know what I'm saying? When you walk yeah. out with them. Uh yeah, you want to walk out with you? You can if you want. I'm hey, I don't think check yeah. Hold on. Wait, hold on. We, 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 we got to do a hold drug on. test. Wait, wait, wait. We got to get you legalized to be able to be a corner man. There's a lot of people. Wait, take a drug test hold on, man. Well, he's gonna be you queen, guys but... didn't hear that, huh? No, he said. I said, can I walk you out? He said, yeah. And then he said, just playing. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was like, I was ready. Get up out of here, bitch. So, uh, yeah, man. You don't need well, this. Come on, honey. You don't, need don't do that. Hey. I'm just saying, you don't no, need I know, him. but you know, men get fucked up when girls do that kind of stuff. Yeah, you you know, know, guys are being shady. <laughs> get him, baby. Get him. <laughs> baby, baby. He touched yeah. my ass. Well, you got a nice ass. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You gonna let him do that? <laughs> like, yeah. You gonna let him do that to me? Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, I love your fights. Yeah. You know <laughs> I love your fights. Keep your hands to yourself. Thank yeah, you. yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, how you doing, uh, Demetrius? Yeah, I didn't want to say this to you, but I wanted to call you. Could you not do that again? Yeah, please. <laughs> yeah. Please. Thank you so much. All righty. Now, um, hang up, then I'm going to finish out the call. All right, bye. Yeah. Yeah, motherfucker. So now yeah. you understand, right? Yeah. Huh? It's on sight next time. All right, mighty mouse. <laughs> All right. Well, thank, like, thank you so yeah. much, honey. You not a problem, me. honey. Oh, I wish you would come back. Oh, I wish you would come back. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> like, you come back, I'll be spooked. Yeah. Oh, no, but thank man. you for coming into the neighborhood, man. 
I don't wish you good yeah, luck. Man. I wish you good skill. Thank you, you know what I'm saying? I know you're more than prepared to get into that octagon and do what you do best, Make man. And again. thank you for coming into the neighborhood and hanging out with us, man. Is this the 12th title defense? This will be 12th. I'm successful. Oh, Damn. Wow. I heard that, brother. <laughs> man, I... More of a reason for us to walk out together. All right, <laughs> Demetrius Johnson, Mighty Mouse in the neighborhood, big boy big in the neighborhood. Boy.